Imagine the shockwaves across the auto industry when a CEO steps on stage and confirms that their most secretive, most talked about engine isn't just a rumor, it's real. That is exactly what Mercedes has done. The company has finally revealed that the Yasa Flux engine exists. An engine once whispered about in hushed tones is now front and center. And this isn't just any motor. Early reports claim it's so powerful and so radically different that giants like Tesla, BYD, and Toyota could soon be losing sleep. If this engine makes its way into production cars, the entire game, petrol, diesel, and even today's electric batteries could be flipped on its head. But the big question remains, what makes this engine so special? Is it truly the game changer the industry has been waiting for? Or is it just another flashy promise destined to fade away? And if it really delivers, could Tesla's EV dominance finally be under threat? One thing is certain, revolutions in car tech don't just appear overnight. They are born from years of research, hidden experiments, and carefully guarded strategies. The Yasa Flux engine is no different. Many assume it surfaced suddenly, but in reality, Mercedes has been quietly working on it for years out of the spotlight. No grand claims, no hype, just relentless work behind the scenes. That silence was all part of Mercedes' master plan. Let's rewind. Between 2010 and 2015, the EV wave exploded, and Tesla proved with its early models that electric cars weren't just the future, they were already here. Mercedes, watching closely, knew one thing. If they wanted to stay relevant, betting only on batteries wasn't enough. They had to reinvent the motor itself. That's when their eyes landed on a small but brilliant British company, Yasa. This startup was already experimenting with axial flux motors, and their early prototypes hinted at a technology that could completely reshape the industry. Mercedes saw the potential, stepped in with support, and by 2019, they took full control of Yasa. That move laid the foundation for what is now being called one of the most disruptive engines in modern automotive history. From the outside, it looked like a simple business deal, but in reality, it was the step that laid the foundation of the Yasa Flux engine. Mercedes poured millions of dollars into the product project, gave Yasa full funding, and put hundreds of engineers to work day and night. Over the past decade, this quiet partnership transformed into one of Mercedes's boldest innovations. The company kept the project so secret that even industry experts had no clue. The second big factor in this master plan was timing. Mercedes never rushed to launch the technology. They knew that if they released an incomplete or weak product, Companies like Tesla or BYD would ridicule it immediately. So they tested it thoroughly, thousands of hours of driving simulations and experiments in every condition until they were fully confident. Only then did they announce it to the world. This move shows how much Mercedes has learned from Tesla. Tesla enters the market with a lot of noise, but Mercedes kept quiet, waited for the right moment, and then struck. This is their master plan. Say less, do more. So what is the Yasa Flux engine? Think about it whenever we talk about cars, the first thing that comes to mind is the engine. Once petrol and diesel ruled the roads, then the era of electric cars took over. But today, the name making the most headlines is the Yasa Flux engine. Mercedes has revealed it, and discussions about it are spreading all over the world. But what exactly is this engine, and why is it considered so special? Let's break it down in the simplest terms possible. Yasa is a British company that originally developed this engine technology before Mercedes took it under its wing. And flux simply means magnetic flow. Now, understand this electric motors work on the interaction of electricity and magnets. Normal electric motors, which we call permanent magnet or induction motors, are thick and bulky. They take up more space and weigh a lot more. But the magic of the Yasa Flux engine is that it's very small, lightweight, and extremely powerful. Its design is called Axial Flux. Now, what does Axial Flux mean? Let's put it in simple words. A normal motor rotates like a cylinder, while an axial flux motor rotates like a flat disc. In other words, instead of being a thick cylinder, this motor is like a thin, round plate. The same question is being raised today about Mercedes' Yasa Flux engine. From the information that has come out so far, it's pretty clear that the Flux engine will currently be installed only in luxury and high-performance cars. The biggest reason for this is its initial cost. Being a new technology, its production cost is high, and companies would like to install it first in those vehicles where the price is already high. How will it perform after 100,000 miles of daily commutes, harsh winters, and scorching summers? How will its unique components hold up to wear and tear? What exactly will be the cost and complexity of maintenance and repairs? And will the supply chain for its specialized rare earth magnets prove resilient? 
or will it become a bottleneck that stifles mass adoption? These are the practical, gritty questions that will ultimately determine its fate. Furthermore, the market's reception is never guaranteed. A technology's success isn't solely about its performance specs, it's about cost, accessibility, and the creation of a supportive ecosystem. If the Flux engine remains confined to ultra-luxury vehicles with six-figure price tags, its impact on the broader EV revolution will be symbolic at best. The ultimate measure of its success will be its ability to trickle down to become a viable, affordable option for the mainstream consumer, the person buying a family SUV or an affordable commuter car. So now the decision is yours to ponder. Do you believe that the Axial Flux Engine represents a genuine paradigm shift, the next logical step in electric propulsion that will render current radial flux motors obsolete? much like digital cameras replaced film? Or do you suspect it may fade into the annals of automotive history as a brilliant but niche technology, a high-performance darling for a select few, but ultimately too specialized to unseat the established and continually improving conventional electric motor? The journey from revolutionary prototype to industry standard is a marathon not a sprint. It requires not just breakthrough engineering, but also manufacturing genius, economic viability, and widespread consumer acceptance. Mercedes has fired the starting gun, but the race is far from over. What is your opinion? Do you see a future where axial flux becomes as common a term as V8 or lithium ion? Or do you think the challenges will prove too great? We are at a fascinating crossroads, and your perspective is a valuable part of this conversation. Tell us what you think in the comments below. And yes, a sincere thank you for staying with us until the very end of this deep dive into what could be the next chapter of electric mobility. Mercedes is reinventing them to be greener, more efficient, and more powerful. This bold move might just redefine what driving means in the future. With their history of breaking barriers, this new engine could truly be a game changer. The rise of electric vehicles. Electric vehicles are taking the world by storm. As people become more aware of the environmental damage caused by fossil fuels, the demand for EVs has skyrocketed. Governments are pushing hard to phase out gas-powered cars, and automakers are in a race to go electric. What was once a niche idea has now become the new standard for the auto industry. But EVs aren't perfect. Even with companies like Tesla making huge leaps in battery technology, challenges remain. Electric vehicles can be expensive. Charging takes time, and finding a charging station isn't always easy. Plus, range anxiety, the fear your battery will die before you reach a charger, is still a real concern for drivers. This is where Mercedes-Benz sees an opportunity. They believe their new combustion engine technology can tackle these EV challenges head-on. Electric vehicles aren't the answer for everyone. For many, gas-powered engines are still more practical and convenient. EVs excel in city driving or short commutes, but combustion engines still rule for long road trips and quick refueling. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss the next chapter of this story as it unfolds.